uh, hi everyone so welcome to the next video in code java series so once after watching this video once after completing this video you will learn what is a class and how to write the main method in java and how can we compile and run a java program and basically using a notepad okay so let's get started So I'm not starting with a Java editor or any Java IDE. Instead, uh, I'm starting with a Notepad, and then we can uh, move to Notepad plus plus, and finally to an Eclipse or Intel G or some editor. Okay? Because uh, I feel it's not a good start uh, if you are directly using an editor uh, if you are a beginner. Okay? Uh, so if you're making use of some Notepad or Notepad plus plus. you will have much greater understanding in the code and code structure and many other things because in editor and all everything will be like uh, you can give it by default like if you do a control space you will get default options and all right but if you are using in notepad so nothing will be available as a default you yourself have to write the code inside that so it's always better to start with a notepad or notepad plus plus if you are a beginner so let's start with a notepad here So to to write a Java program, we need to have a class. We need to create a class. So how can we create a class? For that, you can simply type class, and then you need to give a class name. And note that the class name should start with a capital case, a capital letter. So let me write test. You can put a left curly bracket. in the next line you can put a right curly bracket now all of your code go inside this particular bracket and a class is actually it's a blueprint which contains states and behaviors states are nothing but the variables and behaviors are called as methods so let's start writing a method if you want to run any java program you need to have a main method inside the class file so any java program when you run a java program it will start the execution from the main method so first you have to write a main method so how can we write a main method there is some structure that is some starter that we have to follow while writing a main method we can write main method like public so what is this public public is a keyword that means you can access this method outside your class and the next keyword is static what is the static we have some static and non static concepts in java to understand this we have to talk about it in a detail don't worry we will learn about it in the future in coming upcoming videos fine so next we have to give a return type so if you are doing some like you know calculation if you are doing some addition operation and you want to return result of that addition operation so in that case you have to give a return type if you are doing some uh, addition of numbers then the return type will be integer right so here if there is no value that you are returning then you can simply give void so for now we can give void that means this function is not returning anything next important thing is main we can give main and inside this bracket we have to give a string array so how can we give a string array you can give it like string left and right bracket and you can give a name for the argument it's not mandatory that you need to give the name like this you can give any name instead of this args okay but most common use name is this one so you can also follow the same name it's not mandatory i mean there are many other uh, format that you can uh, uh, pass this arguments if you want you can put this left and right bracket after the argument variable also so there are some methods it will be we will be talking about the main method function only uh, in a separate video in the future so for now let's understand this basic concept again put a left curly bracket and put a right curly bracket now our uh, 
method the method body will go inside this main method first as usual we can write a code to print some word so i just i'm just writing a uh, code to print hello java okay so to print any data to print any text you can use a particular line in java that is system dot out dot print ln and you can use print ln or print any of that or what is the difference between these two i have uh, made a separate video if you want you can refer that for now i'm using system dot out dot print ln inside that you can give the required text that you want to get printed so i can give hello java and now what you need to do close this bracket and put a semicolon so for each line that you write it in java it's mandatory to put a semicolon otherwise it will be throwing a compilation error let us save this file so it's not yet saved so we can save this file into any of the directory now for our machine so let me uh, save this so while saving please make sure that you are saving the file name with your class name the class name is test right so save the file name with the your class name so i am saving inside a folder and while saving give the class name and the extension should be dot java test dot java just click on the save button so our program is ready now right now we have to run this program for that you can open the command prompt a command prompt is open now i have to navigate to the folder location where our test class file is stored this is the folder location that i have stored test stored java so simply copy this you can again go back to command prompt just type cd space that is to change the directory you can give your path so now we are in the java programs folder now let us run our program so in java if you are making use of a notepad or notepad plus plus if you want to run the java program first you have to compile the java program then you need to run the java program so what happens if you run the java program directly so that we will see first so to run a java program what you can do is just type java your file name is test then you can give test just uh, click enter what happened could not find or load main class test so it is actually searching for a class that has the name test with an extension dot class but as you see we have test dot java file right not test dot class file but while you when you run a java program it's actually looking for a test dot class file not a test dot java file so to create a test or class file we need to compile the java program when you compile a java program the test dot class file will be created and this test dot class file is called as a byte code in java so the next question is how can we compile the java program mentioned in my previous video the command to run a java program is java c so write java c and you can give test dot java the complete file name even including the extension dot java so java c test dot java just click enter and if there is no error like if there is no compilation error it will be blank but if you are mistaking some issue in your code then you will be able to see some errors in the command prompt so that we can see it in later now go to our folder location now you are able to see a class file right this is a class file so now the after comparing the java code you are able to create a class file now in your system a class file is got created now let us run our java code so for that type java test see our code is printed now hello java so when you say java test actually the class file is executed the dot class file is executed now uh, let us do a uh, mistake in this java file so let me remove this particular line and just close it again open this 
and run it still it is printed hello java so that means it is still taking the old uh, you know right java when you when you say java this it is what it did it, what it is doing it is actually executing the dot class file right since the dot class file when it is created when you compile a java program but here you have not compiled the java program after change after doing the change so it's still taking the old program only so what you can do you have to again compile the java program java c test dot java now you are able to see the error right there is some error near to this particular line this particular location so when you are uh, making any changes to a program uh, you need to uh, compile the recompile the java program and then you need to rerun the program and also please remember these two commands in order to compile the code you can do java c space in the complete file name test.java but to write the java program just write java and then give only the class name the file name test okay so let's see in my next video with more advanced feature if you are enjoying this video please click the like button also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so thanks for watching so we'll see in my next video thank you